Fight fans, what's going on? Welcome back. Boxing with Chris. Fight week, Las Vegas, Canelo Alvarez, Edgar Berlanga. So, you know, I got to bring you that tail of the tape. You know, Canelo Alvarez stands at 61 wins, two losses, two draws. Last seen in action May 4th when he defeated Jaime Munguia by unanimous decision. You know, Canelo, 34 years of age, 5'7", with a 71-inch reach. Edgar Belanga, the challenger, undefeated, 22-0, with 17 wins come by way of knockout. 27 years old, 6'1", with a 73-inch reach. Last seen in action February 24th. And man, oh man, the tail of the tape is short, quick, simple. You know, the experience of Canelo. The greenness of Edgar Belanga, the questionable chin of Edgar Belanga, the above average power. I don't believe the power is what they're selling it to be ever since he went up in competition. For Canelo, yes, the mileage continues. Hasn't had a knockout since the Caleb plan, which is November 6th of 2021. But tail of the tape and keys to victory for Edgar Belanga if he wants to pull off the upset and land in the history books as the unified super middleweight champion of the world. Um, go, go to the body. We see a lot of guys, they don't attack Canelo's body. Go to the body. And if Canelo's giving you these first two to four rounds, you know, downloading the data because, you know, Canelo is a natural slow starter. Don't get overconfident and gamble because that's how you get caught. That's how Jaime Munguia got caught. But we know Canelo Alvarez now is setting trap using his experience. And once Canelo knows that you... Canelo knows or feels that you can't hurt him. He really just gonna start walking through your shots and he's just gonna apply the pressure, see how much is it gonna be until the pipes break. You gotta, and for Edgar Belanga, punch through Canelo's high guard. Whenever Canelo's in that high guard, punch through it. You know, stay active, pump the jab. The jab has to work 80 hours every round. The jab should be working overtime every round and make sure you follow up after the jabs because a lot of people tend to think and a lot of people are watching canelo's laws to be bold that's always the footage that they're watching but i've always said you want to learn a fighter's weaknesses and mistakes watch his best performances because anybody can have a bad night or anybody can just get beat in a night but watch a fighter's best performance is not his worst but gotta also give you the prediction while the tail of the tape this fight lasts as long as canelo wants it to last it will be nice. Maybe Edgar Belenga proves us wrong and has a better performance. But his ceiling here will be to at least have a Jaime Munguia performance, you know, fight and not get on his bicycle. But hopefully we get a good fight. Hopefully it is a better fight than we all expected because people do not want this fight to begin with. But if I had to give you a prediction, I had to say Canelo between seven through nine. And that's just because Canelo is a natural slow starter. But I feel once he finds his timing and speed, and especially if he knows that Edgar Belenga can't hurt him, which I'm figuring that he can't, the fights definitely will be over by then. So boxing fans, let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. It's your boy Chris, and I'll be back soon to talk some more boxing. Peace.